I wanted to give everyone a tour of my craft room, as many have asked. As you walk in my craft room, you'll immediately see my cards if I, as I have painted the walls with magnetic paint. So this is a great idea. You can get the paint at Home Depot and I'll kind of pan out here so you can see how much it, it certainly helps utilize your wall space. And also for me, I thought it was a great area and idea to put some of my dyes up here. So that's what I've done also since it's magnetic and it does need the little help of the extra uh, square magnets. So these are some of my more recent cards that I have made. And uh, so then uh, I have a bookcase that holds a lot of my 12 by 12 papers. And I store some of my already homemade cards and I'm ready to go as you can see with my little tote uh, if I need to go to a crop or something in that nature. And then as you move over here into this area, I have two more um, shelving units that I use that I've kept all of my embossing folders in these great handy dandy things, some of my dies. Uh, here's where I have all of my stamping up stamps. I have my uh, handy dandy Xyron, uh, some embellishments. I have my markers, my alcohol markers. Uh, in the corner, there's a project I'm working on for my holiday cards. I have all my liquid pearls and my stickles. And I have my latest Nouveau that I've not worked with. I have some excess ribbon here in this pretty vase. And then as a recommendation from somebody, actually, they told me to put a dining room table in my craft room versus a desk because it gives you the depth that you need. So I have that nice deep table there. And then as you pan around, I have a nice little rolly cart that I keep some of my stuff that I use very frequently, like my acrylic blocks and my embossing powders and some of my just basic ink pads. And then over here, I have my stamping up inks and items there. I have more storage for cards on my blinds. Um, I keep some colored watercolor pencils there and then of course I have my computer that is hooked up to my silhouette over here and then below that I have another like credenza that has drawers that I keep some other small punches you can see my glue gun out I have the embossing gun and then I have one of my Crafter's Companion drawer sets in my Calyx unit. Um, this Calyx unit is a four by four. Let's see if I can keep backing up to get it all in. So you can see that that certainly is a wonderful tool. And I left room below it with a little shelf so I could get to some uh, of my twine and my scraps and some of my other embellishment, my stamping cleaning pads, some of my rhinestones, some of my small six by six pads. I have my um, 12 by 12 plain papers there. I have a huge stack of rhinestones, different embellishments. I keep my cuddle bug with some of my dies there. And then I have all of my punches and another one of the Crafter Companions nice little container. And then I keep my 12 by 12, I mean my the eight and a half by 11 paper there. I have some of my specialty papers up here. And then in my drawers, I have additional um, tape runner and foam tape. And let's see, I think I have here, I can even open it up. I have all my distress inks in this drawer with the that and Give you all the extra glue dots and things I keep there and I almost forgot what I kept in here some additional embellishments and backup stuff I have there all right talk to you soon